All right, Scorpio, this is your reading for February of 2023. We're going to start with the light, see your tarot deck, and then move into our oracle card. So let's get ready to dive in and let's see what does the light, see your tarot deck have to say for Scorpio, February 2023. If you, whoa, okay. The wheel, I guess it shut my mouth up, so we'll talk about that later. All right, we have the wheel. Okay, Scorpio. Let's get one more card. Let's see here what else is going to tell us. Thank you. Ah, the Page of Swords. Okay, 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 okay. And let's get one more just for... Thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay, this reading is, of course, intuitive because I'm an intuitive reader. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. Scorpio, what is this telling us? The wheel, the four swords, and the page of swords. Well, first you got some swords energy. So, you know, swords is air. When I always have, in my mind, when I see swords energy, I always think of battles being one. I watched a lot of, you know, the knights, and then, you know, I challenge you to a duel, and you're doing all the sh 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 and Zaro and all those things like that. So I always felt like with the swords energy, it's kind of like survival of the fittest. Okay, so I feel, Scorpio, with the Page of Swords and with the Four of Swords, I feel that thus far you've been doing some, I'm not going to say the extreme fighting, you know. I'm going to say that you have been doing things, because I usually say with this, like cutting out the things that don't serve you. I feel with these two cards right here, it's giving me some gentle vibes of the swords energy. Because like with the page of swords, you have it with a book, and you have her with, I'm going to say two hawks, because I love hawks, and light bulbs, okay? With it being the page of swords, and you're walking across the sword. I feel as if, but you're reading the book, so I feel like this is kind of like that light energy of the sword. And then right here, you had the four swords, is with your inner nest nesting. You know, so I feel that you have come off the apex of, you know, of the lighter side, to, in my opinion, of the source energy, if this makes sense to you, Scorpio. Because with the wheel, the wheel is forever turning. Now, I like it when it's like this because it tells me, you know, with the swords coming into the wheel, you have fought a lot of things, you've gone through some adversities, but with the wheel, things are starting to turn in your favor. Now, some people say, well, the wheel is always continuously turning and so on and so forth and this and that and the other. And yes, I agree. Because, you know, it's like the wheels on a, on a tire, like a tire rather. But I feel with this Scorpio, it has saying you have done a lot of light work. Not like bad light work, but I mean like you don't have to be as aggressive as you have been. You've had fought some fights, but you can fight rest in between these fights. But with these little small victories that you have done, Scorpio, it has turned in your favor. So, you know, it could be anything. Cause, you know, some people have it very rough and then some people have it where it's just, you know, if I get this off my mind, if I say this, then everything will be fine. So what I'm saying with you, Scorpio, you have fought some fights. You haven't gone through, you know, extremes, but it's enough to get on your nerve. It's enough to stress you out. It's enough to make you someone tap dance on your last nerve, Scorpio, February 2023. 20, but I feel that the wheel is finally at the top where you want to be. Okay. And you're like, yay, I'm finally at the top. I'm staying on the top. You know, I'm in my yoga stance, so I'm kind of like, you know, I can't think of what that one's called, but I'm in my yoga stance, and I'm at the top of the wheel. So that's what I'm feeling for you, Scorpio, that you are on the top of the wheel. To say all that, you are on top of the wheel. All right, now let's go um, with the psychic tarot of the heart, Scorpio, for February 2023. I wish I could shuffle these a little bit more, but they are very thick cards. You just can't shuffle them the way you can, like, a lot of different cards. I'm not reading any reverses on anything, so. Let's see. And I'm sorry if you hear a lot of planes start flying again. Planes have been flying all day today, so. I do apologize. No. Not that. Good night, the stars. That's too many. Okay, I'll take you. Blossom. 
There we go. And look what it has enhanced like a wheel. It's like a little dragon. I think it's a dragon or it's a plant. Well, I could take it to be as either way. Like a dragon tail. You know, you've seen them, like little tattoos. And I'm seeing that fire come from that. Hence, like a little scorpion tail. Okay. Blossom. I can see it that way. Teach. All right. Interesting with the book in the hand. So I feel that you have gone through some teachable moments, Scorpio. That's what I say with that page of swords. It's that light energy. So you've had some teachable moments in your life. Um, there was a card I was reading. The other reading was saying that everyone's a teacher. Okay. So I feel like you've gone through some teaching lessons in your life, Scorpio. Oh, rest and reconsider. There we go. Rest and reconsider. That's just reevaluating the four swords, resting. Because you've done some, some like, you know, you can rest easy with some of the things that you've done. Especially with being on the wheel, you can just rest for a while. Because like, I'm on top of the wheel, so yay, I'm happy. Okay? All right, now let's go with the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck. See what it has to say about Scorpio, February 2023. There we go. We have wisdom. Teach. See? Isn't it? And they're both fives. You see that? From two different decks. Teach wisdom. Okay? Teachable moments. That's what you've been through. Here we go. Sacrifice. Stand your ground. See? This is everything I'm telling you. That sword, you have fought some things, some sacrifices. You have stood your ground, and you're at the top of the wheel. So you're at the top of the wheel, Scorpio. All right? All right, now let's look at the Sword of Light Oracle deck. And let's see what they have to say. Trust your angels. Let go of your expectations of how dreams will come true and trust that heaven has a perfect plan. It's like what I said at the top of the wheel. Stand your ground. Just go with it. Trust. Teach wisdom. When you have wisdom, then you know to just trust. Be honest with yourself. You are fit. You all your feelings, even the difficult ones, have a message for you. Accept your truth and let source take it from there. So wisdom and teaching. Be honest with yourself. With all this that you have done, just be honest with yourself and that all the feelings that you have feel are messages, teaching, wisdom, understanding anything, that all things in life are teachable moments. Deeper insights are at hand. Your overall plan is good, but the details need work. Reflect more before moving forward. That's what it says, teaching and understanding and wisdom. Okay? When you understand all these things, you're like, okay, this is what I need to do from here on. That's why you got to stay. That's why you can stay at the top of the wheel because you're learning, you're understanding. Okay? All right. Now we're going to go with the Sacred Forest Oracle deck. Okay. Beauty. Wood nymph. Beauty. Rest and reconsider. There's beauty in things that you're learning. Okay? Stability. Like I said teaching wisdom stability being on top of the wheel you got to be stable to be on top of that wheel especially in that pose you got to have stability in your life passage stand by stones passage because you're trusting your angels you are at the top of the wheel okay wisdom and teaching standing your ground passage is the thing that you need in life all right libra february 2020 no scorpio i'm sorry scorpio February 2023. Let's move to the Oracle of the Unicorns. Awareness. Live in the moment. Be con con mm, be conscious of your thoughts and look for signs and guidance. Wisdom, teaching, trusting your angels, being honest with yourself. Aware. Top of the wheel. Deeper insights are at hand. See? All right, Scorpio, February 2023. Cycles. Everything has its right time. Honor the cycles of your body. 
tuned to the moon's magic. That's what I was saying with that body, with the rest, and with the force, the, the, the four swords energy. Okay? All right. Um, let's move to the Soul Helpers Oracle deck. Let's see what they have to say about my dear Scorpio for February 2023. A new strategy is required. That's why it says that learning method. Find the path to love and happiness. Like I was saying, trust your angels. Okay? Stability, beauty, awareness. Leave your usual social circles behind. Seek out true companions. Trust your angels. Okay? Deeper insights are at hand. Stability. All right. Let me get one more. Here we go. Rise above the dark days of life. Okay? Do not fight them, but have faith that the light will always return. That's why I said trust your angels. Okay? Uh, teach wisdom, so on and so forth. All right, Scorpio, we are coming toward the end of your reading. Your reading was pretty much clear-cut and concise. That's why it shows short. So Libra is not, not Libra. I don't know why I keep saying Libra. Maybe some of you Scorpios have Libra in your sign. So you might want to check out Libra's reading. Okay. But Scorpio, I'm going to read some affirmators for you. Let's see. And then we'll get ready to close your reading. All right, let's go. to patience congratulations you've been granted more patience you may start using it right away okay so it's just telling you with the patience with being on the top of the wheel it took some time but you were patient and it persevered wonder is a one wonderful thing to be in a state of wonder and i'm good an audience of my life and become better and better theater when something delightful happens i can shout encore and be tickled when it happens again when something maddening happens i can laugh it off either way i'm glad i got a ticket to the show it's just saying you just laugh through adversity you just keep going and the wonderment that you have in your life your life is a wonder everyone's life is unique my dear scorpios Everyone's a teacher. And I think I had mentioned that. Oddly enough, they got mentioned that. I think I did in this group. Everyone I cross paths with is a teacher in that moment. The ones who give me the fun lessons, the ones I call friends, the ones who give me hard lessons, I sometimes call blanks. They have chosen a tough job, but someone's got to do it. So the day I'm thinking all the blanks, thank you, blanks, for playing your important part in my life to be a better person. Like I say, everything's a teachable moment, my dear Scorpios. All right, that is your reading, Scorpios, for February 2023. Pretty much you on the top of the wheel. And just keep being persistent. Teach. Understand wisdom because everything is what? A teaching moment, okay? I love when those things come full circle. It makes me happy. So with that being said, um, if this reading did not pertain to you, please check your other sign. If you like this video, um, give me a thumbs up or you can then hit the subscribe button, which is somewhere in the bottom of this screen somewhere. All right. So with that being said, you have a wonderful day and be safe and I'll see you soon. Bye.